Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gujaras. Gujaras is a Dynasties of India DLC Sith. It is able to garrison its sheep to produce food and starts with two forage bushes. So today I'm going to show you how to play that start. The Gujara start is a bit unique from other civilizations. It is able to garrison its sheep and so generates about the same amount of food as a normal shepherd. But we are going to take that into account because the start is a little bit different. So in order to understand this sieve, we have to understand that their start is a little bit different from the other sieves based on the optimization of our sieve bonus. So right off the bat, you want to start looking for the berry bush. Okay, and there it is. What we're going to do is we are going to go mill first. Okay, yes, I did not say that wrongly. We are going to go mill first. And the reason why is very simple. Okay, because my civilization can garrison their sheep, I want to actually get my hands on the garrison sheep as soon as I can. Now, the food gathering is a little bit complicated, okay, to understand, but uh, you can just simplify it right now as garrison your sheep as soon as possible and gather the berries. Now, theoretically, what happens is that if you are able to get, uh, build this meal as soon as you can, you'll be able to gather the sheep trickle and compensate for the fact that your six villagers are on berries instead of on sheep or herdables as they are called in this game. Now one of the biggest problems about this start is that you will be very slow in gathering wood because you have to go mill first so you will probably not be able to meet your demands for wood but don't worry this can be solved very shortly. So after you have made your sheep veils, okay, your, in this case your berry veils, uh, you get three to gather straggler trees, okay. Typically you want to gather the tree closest to your, you want to gather the tree closest to your town center. So in this case this is two squares. This is also two squares but it also goes to the top. So there's some kind of weird pathing to optimize it. So the next veil, is going to oops and a little bit of a miss okay the next view is actually going to build a house and my, my timing is a little bit off of course i'm going to send this guy to auto scout because i really scouted most of the map but typically you should have enough okay so now we go seven on the ball now we go seven on the ball and now we are going to make our number camp so after building the house, we can start sending villagers to the berries. So my next veil should be able to get it. So with my reassignment of veils, okay, I now have enough wood for the lumber camp. I have three on wood and now I have seven on the TC. And my boss should be able to be pulled very soon. Okay. So it follows, so from this point, after the weird meal first, a little bit problem with the pathing, after the weird meal first start, now it looks like a regular build, okay? And all the check marks are being filled in for regular build. Now we just optimize our ball placement before we click up. So this is like a regular scout build, okay? Of course, you can choose to put more villagers on wood because like i said you are going to be in a very weird spot since you started with mill first so you can actually put three on wood if you are uncomfortable with it my base actually looks really bad in a normal game because of how open the map is but it should not be such a big bearing overall we should still be able to afford everything and go to lumber camp and make scouts so by this point you can see that um everything looks quite okay now if you get lame of course you're gonna have to put more villagers on food earlier on and put more villagers on the wood so that you can afford more stuff but overall the gujara start is very unique and very different from a normal gameplay okay so now because you don't normally because you don't have any sheep under the tc and the straggler trees are going to finish very fast uh the natural follow-up is of course to go double lumber camp 
But you can see right now that I have more than enough moves rest for everything overall um you can technically do this start for archers okay and in fact uh, gujaras might even be quite viable to go archers in this matchup but uh so far we are doing fairly okay now we can build the barracks and then we can build a house so that we can get a house Okay. So now we have ten on, f we have ten on the wood. Okay, we have more than enough on food. Of course, you can optimize this build to be uh, suitable for the. You can of course optimize this build for uh, archers as well. But yeah, you are going to need to start with mill first every single time so now that i have so many villagers on wood i can actually start walling okay so this is just a variation on my part and we should be able to pick up very soon and make shenanigans okay so it's almost the time and i can actually get all my resources going so i'm gonna pause in a few moments so as you can see right now Okay, I lay down my stable, which is 175 wood, and I get double bit X and horse collar, which is 75 foot uh, 50 wood. Eh, sorry, 100 foot 50 wood and 75 foot 75 wood. So if you take the math into consideration, 175 foot, 125 wood, which I have, and then you add 175 wood for stable. And this is taking into account that I also oh. small wall. So the Gujara start is very different from a normal 20 pop or 21 pop start but because you go mill first and the sheep trickle food is very very helpful you're gonna be able to afford everything if you go scouts and if you do 21 pop you have one more villager worth of resources which is about 200 which allows you to be able to make archers as well so this is a very very optimized way of playing the gujaras makes use of their sheep bonus and more importantly it allows you to uh play the game as is normal any other arabia said so thank you very much for watching this is going to be a very short video because uh yeah um this is just a very brief covering of the gujara start i don't think many people have made a lot of videos about it so thank you for watching uh do check out my streaming and please subscribe if you enjoy this video because i am very bad at selling out okay take care everyone